Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Art of Comics European Edition. Remember when I had that interview with Tony Realato? Um, did you guys see that video? Go check it out on my channel. I did an interview with Tony Rialto, who uh, had a Pacific Comics, was the name of his company, not to be confused with Pacific Comics, the publisher. And he, Italian man, came here, did a lot of business selling, and still does, is a vendor of European comics. So uh, check out that interview. And from him at Long Beach Comic Con, I bought four magazines, each of these five bucks. Why I didn't buy them all, don't ask me, because I don't know. I should have just bought them all, but we're gonna go through one of them. Let's see here, 89, 90, we're gonna go chronological in 86, 85, okay. So we're gonna start with this guy. And uh, I have not read it, I haven't even looked at it, but I'm very excited to check it out. And that's what we're doing today so are you ready boys and girls here we go let's check out this magazine Corto Maltese not to be confused with Hugo Pratt's Corto Maltese this is the Corto Maltese magazine this is going to be in Italian so I will not be able to understand much my Spanish will be uh, not too helpful I don't think but let's go ahead and take a look shall we here we go first off this cover's kind of cool. A little, is it like Santa Claus is coming? Dig that. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a heavy metal, but let's check it out. Uh, okay, a little like note from the editor, I think, I'm assuming. Yeah, from the, he's the editor here, the director. Uh, passenger, I know that word. Uh, <laughs> so let's look at, see if, so. George Brown, Giardinino. I apologize, I'm gonna mess up all these all these names. Brasile, Del Sede, Hugo Pratt, Giovanni, Gandini, Altan, Camano, I don't know Hugo Pratt. Oh, Cripa, I know Cripa, Guido Cripa, we know him. Rossi, Tacy. Gold. Okay. Let's check it out. First off, I really like this. This isn't this cool. Is this Pratt? I don't know what this is. This is really cool. All you Italians and Europeans, jump on board this and let me know what you think of these things. This costs three four lira back in eighty five. This is December eighty five. So uh annual three, so this started I guess in eighty two. Okay, Albatross, name Charlie. Some photography, okay. This beautiful beaches, I mean, this could be like Hawaii. Where is this? Let's see if I could see any proper nouns in this thing. I don't know, it was beautiful though. Okay, let's start this off. This is, oh, this looks like Monera. Who, who did we say this is? Vittorio Giardino. Vittorio Giardino. Let's take a look at this. Let's see if the lighting, is the lighting good? Oh yeah, you guys can see pretty good. Okay. Wow, this is nice. Now, you can use your phone, and of course I'm recording with my phone, but you can use your phone and go to Google Translate uh, app and you can take a picture or live with your camera and it'll translate. So I could actually read this later. Uh, maybe I'll do that. In fact, I know I will. Look at this, this is nice. The way this is kind of broken out. Really nice um, panel compositions here. Great figure work too. It's not hyper stylized, it's clean. It's really nicely done. It's a lot of two shots. It's a lot of like medium, flat, nothing. Um, camera is not going up or down. It's pretty much straight on, which is okay. But ooh, I like that. 
like the clean lines. Nothing is scratchy, very clean, smooth with pen or brush. That's pretty too. The colors are really nice in this as well. Man, I really like this suit. I like the way he's drawing this face. Oh, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to look this guy up again. We're gonna have to look up Cardino up. This is nice. Yeah, this is a heavy metal. You know, it's mature, but beautiful. The way this is just very realistic, you know, not accentuate, not like 90 superhero, but like realistically drawn. Really well done. The beautiful faces. Beautiful face. That's cool. I dig that a lot. That's a nice boat. It's really nicely done. In the background, the city, in there in the foreground. Yeah, this is like really well done. The coloring here, the water. That's a hard panel to draw too. That's really nice. Oh, she's got the drop on them. They might have been lovers, but she found out something. And she's not having it. It's good thing. That's a little slightly wonky, but it's totally excusable. Yeah, there we go. I'll have to definitely read this. Great art, some photography. Looks like Venice or someplace. I don't know. Or no, not Venice. This is cool. These are cool pictures. São Francisco. São. I wonder if this is Portugal. Because São is um, Portuguese. So maybe this is Portugal. That would make sense. Okay, here's Hugo Pratt. Let me tell you right now, just looking at this is really, really impressive. Man, this is cool. One second. Yeah, I really feel in the way this is done. Simple lines. Very freaking cool. Man, if I could draw that, I would just love it. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I like the lines. I like the dead marker line, whatever he's using here. Uh, so there's no line variation in the width of the line. But the composition of these are, is so interesting. It's stylized, charactered down into very basic shapes. The most minimal of lines to communicate beauty the face the eye the neck the pearls i mean with that's just this is a really cool panel really cool panel these faces very stylized and i love these silhouettes look at that and that great contrast there man this is good this is really good there's some American guys that do this stuff too. Um, uh, what was the name of the guy who did Union Jack or Jack Staff, something like that for Image? There's a couple guys that have this kind of style. Um, that's cool. I dug that a lot. Here's some books they're selling. I don't know what Jeff Hawk is. That's cool though. more books Zorro Borello Sungundada Puntada Tamburi yeah this is the second book maybe second chapter Altan is the name of the creator and this is much more like a little more surreal abstract flavor with the penis nose thing and the, the drawing styles this feels much more heavy metal, alternate, you know, 
Zap Comics kind of stuff. doesn't grab me as this kind of stuff has never really grabbed me as much uh, I mean it's really well done the way you these drop shadows are great the, the contrast the putting in the blacks is very well done this is a great panel here just everything going on in here filling up every bit of the panel with art to make it interesting and, and varied it's cool yeah a little short story Gollum this is, uh, I don't know who the artist is, because I'm assuming it's not the artist's name, uh, but wow, this is cool, the beautiful tech, this is a great position too. Look at the textures on this. Very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's great. Great stuff. Ooh, oh, dude, okay, it's Batal. Bataglia, Bataglia, dude, this is cool. Wow, what's his first name? Let's look this guy up. Bataglia, Dino Bataglia. We gotta look him up. We gotta look him up. This is cool. I love the texture. I love this stuff. Wow, and I love the colors. Yeah, man, the design, everything. This is, this is really, man, there's been some great comic in this. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Now he could have just kept this all black, but he put in these beams here just to give a little bit more, more interest and in, in detail. More realism. Look at this. This is really cool too. They're not straight lines. They're they're kind of all over the place there, and the way it fades out too. Wow. This is really intense. Notice the panel borders. Sometimes he'll do real panel borders, and other times he doesn't. Here. Wow. This is really cool. You live, walk. I don't know a couple words. Come, my friend, Chamaro, friend Gollum, come to here. Yes, you're mine. I created you. Do you understand me? Guard me. I think that's what he's saying. I can, I can figure out just from the Latin kind of root of some of the words, maybe. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. Wow, this is really freaking good. Man. Oh, this is good. Too. Man, this is really inspiring. This is like... And this was done in 85, you guys. This is like... Look at this great work. Man. Yeah. That's badass, dude. Oh, man. I would love to do a comic with this kind of level of texture and line work. Look at these shapes. Just freaking good. Wow. I'm going to study. I'm actually going to, like, maybe try to re reproduce some of this and study some of this for my story because this is really well done. Yeah. That was great. Okay. Next. Oh, una historia clear recontada de Malo Manera. Oh, it's a damn commercial. Whoa. Oh, my pages. Oh, man. It's a commercial. Milo Manera did a damn shampoo commercial. He's great, too, dude. You got to put a little bit of the boob in there just to kind of gotta happen una balata another hugo pratt hugo pratt's got some different styles right because this is a different style different thing going on here beautiful it doesn't even need the colors but i like the colors a lot it does kind of add a lot to it but look at this and yeah i've never seen the sky done like this 
You guys seen a sky done like that? That's really cool. Huh. Dude, I would love to buy some. Freaking subscription. Yeah, this is this is a really nice panel too. A little shark there. Huh. It reminds me of um, Jose Munoz. A little bit. A little bit of Jose Munoz. Who I think is Spanish, but I could be wrong. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. You see this, Giffen does this. I, I wonder if Giffen, you know, there's always that Keith Giffen connected to Munoz, but he might be also, might be some of this in um, Hugo Pratt because this, all these lines here, this stuff is, is, uh, you see that a lot on Giffen's work. And even like uh, Kirby. Kirby will, will draw lines like that. That's cool. I like this a lot, these shadows of the palm trees. This is really well done. I mean, this is really, really, really well done. Okay, Guido Kripa uh, is potentially going to be some nudity. <laughs> uh, he's great, though. His very stylized, beautiful brushwork. Beautiful figures with with a you know a twist on it. Really kind of fun detail line stuff he's doing. I've never seen his stuff colored. I'd be curious to see what it looks like colored. Uh, but the pan the compositions are really cool. Running over this bear is neat. That's really cool. What is that? Oh, that's supposed to, is that supposed to be red right there? Hmm. That's cool. This is a great body right here. Her hair. There's always some sort of like sexual, like tortures of, of some, some manner. She's like, forgive me, forgive me. I don't know what that's all about. I will have to read these to see what the heck's going on. Elk, bear, bison, these animals, the eagle, they're being tortured in some way as animals. Um, Bottle cap of the hoo ha. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Krupa's crazy. <laughs> that's a cool, these are cool vehicles, though. Hmm. Okay, the next one. La, la Brume. Marcel Labrume. Let's see what this is about. This looks like a crime noir kind of jam. This is by Neto Rossi and Inzo Tezi. Tezi? Tezi? Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. This is kind of different. Kind of a watercolor work. Hmm. Might be the weakest. But that's okay. I mean, you're talking about some brilliant stuff. Hmm. Whoa, let me just put some photos in here too. I like that. I do like this a lot. So we did some research on. This is cool, okay, I like this a lot. Yeah, that's really nice. The photos are fascinating. Will Gould. Gould? Gold? I'm going to say Gould. Huh. This is kind of cool. Like that.
Yeah, I'm excited to go through these. I'm glad that uh, I got these. We'll definitely go through the other ones in the channel. I've, I'm have i reading Lost Girls as well, so we'll talk about that soon. Maybe we'll do that Saturday if I can finish it, or maybe I'll just do like a part one and a part two of that story. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's the, uh, that's beautiful too. There we go. That's the magazine. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you want to see what I do, the kind of the work that I'm into, I'm doing a lot of fine art painting right now, but I'm also um, doing some comics. So check out my Patreon for all that kind of stuff. And uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That's always nice and helpful. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.